You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and we have a, what looks to be a Mickey Mouse cracker from Morinaga. And, uh, let's take a look. I saw Winnie the Pooh here, Donald Duck. And this information originally was covered by one of those giant stickers. I wanted to take it off because it was also covering the front of my box. Wheat Cracker, Morinaga, Pacuncho, Pacuncho Chaco. Hmm, Pacuncho, I don't know. I'm sure someone will correct me there. Let's get that out. We don't need that. Well, did you read the ingredients? Pause and enlarge if you need to see that all better. Holding it steady. Okay, let's get done with that. Here's the bottom. Two ninety nine. dollars Disney. It says, based on the Winnie the Pooh works by A.A. A. Oh, I can't even read that. Milne and E.H. Shepard. That's probably all the trademark info for the stuff on the box. And then look at the box now. It appears you take scissors and you cut these little stands out. And then you can put your crackers, your wee crackers, you can put a card, you can stack them and make these little figure things. Ooh, looks like I have something to do. Now this side here, uh, same, looks like more information. But also, they're pointing here, Mickey and Minnie, and they, they look like they almost have like mitts on. Mittens and hats, like it's a winter product, you know? And then, so it looks like I just pull this back, and that's how I get into the tray. It's like a tray now. I just love how they have inner packaging and inner information. So yeah, you could stack them. Oh, it looks like right here, a piece of tape. You can fold them over and then tape the back. And then you can play with them on a tabletop. It almost looks like they're just hitting the tabletop and they're moving around. Alright. Well, let's check out these wheat crackers. And nice Mickey ears on the bag. See that? Got Mickey ears there. And then, let's see. Did I get a nice shot of the front? Did you get a nice shot? Here, let me zoom in on Mickey. I think it's just neat to see. It doesn't look like he, have, he has a uh, Winter mittens. That's what it looks like to me. All right, let me get my new. Uh, I've been calling it my dissection plate or my new display plate, but it seems to be nice because I can keep my countertop clean and then lay things out like that. Now we've seen similar ones of these, and I had a hard time IDing them all, so I'm not going to even try. I will let you ID them all. I think it's all the same characters as before. All Disney themed. I'm just going to lay them all out. Now we know Tigger and Eeyore, right? I mean, I know most of them. Goofy. Peter Pan, Winnie the Pooh. It looks like Grumpy. Oh, there's our first duplicate, but Winnie the Pooh is facing this direction, and then, oh, I don't think that's Winnie, that's not Winnie the Pooh. This one just looks like a Mickey ears. And then... Let's see the last one. Okay, let me get a better shot here. I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. Uh, normally I can do that on the fly with the tripod, but it was just set up a little bit different than normal. Uh, but I did want to get a straight top-down view. And uh, this was Piglet here. I had to think about it a little bit, not Winnie the Pooh. So there you go. That is what they all look like. Now it is time for me to cut them open, or at least one of them, and try them. Now it's, if it's like the other ones. Um, it's a soft chocolate on the inside, 
So let me uh, take the Mickey ears here and just give it a quick cut and then let you see inside. So that's what it is. Maybe I can balance it up there. So it is a chocolate. Let me just uh, see if we can. Yes, it's like a not a creamy chocolate, but close. Let me eat that one piece. These are good. I like these kinds of crackers. They're not overly sweet because the amount of chocolate inside compared to the cracker is uh, not that much compared to the two because you're getting a lot more cracker than chocolate. So there you go. Pretty neat little set. It's pretty neat that they can have those decorations on all of them like that and have them themed all Disney. Alright, so uh I guess I have to get to the box. I am going to cut it up. Okay. Oh, is this the box piece? The box like this? Hmm, I don't know. I can't read it, so I can't tell you. And uh, I've cut a lot of this stuff up. You guys have, uh, and girls, have seen that I'm uh, okay at cutting. I am trying to go quick here so that I don't take up too much of your time cutting. Now that one I went into the black more than the other one. Okay, this is where it's going to be a little bit more tricky. So I'm going to break it off here. See if I can do it with the fronts of these. Got to do this one in sections. You gotta come in from different sides and angles. Now it appears that they want me to cut this one. Let's just see, make a nice fold and slide it over that one. So let's do that. And I'm almost thinking you gotta do just a slight piece taken out of that to make it work the best. It's precision cutting, that's for sure. Okay, and I brought in some tape. Scotch tape. I would think that cut would need to go past the star to make that just right. Just a little. Okay. Do I go overboard with this stuff? I don't know. There we go. Look at that now. Okay. Rip a piece of tape. Here's my first one. And uh, let me do my second one now. All right. And now I've got the uh, privilege of cutting around the Mickey ears. I'm going to do that from two directions and then you got to kind of turn and tilt just a little. Now I can come in like this. I 
I think when I was cutting out the puppets for the cereal, I had to do a lot of intricate cutting. Some I did on camera, some I did off camera. And if you hear me breathing, it's because I'm close to the microphone. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go a little bit further than I did the first time. See that little cut I'm doing there? It's very thin. Okay. tape ready. Just kind of hand bend it. There we go. That one came out nice. All right. I'm going to put a little bit more tape on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Take a short little break here, come back, clean up, and then uh, see what they do. Or stack them a little bit. I'll be right back. All right, there you go. I would say uh, pretty neat. Now, it says it'll hold one of my cookies. Let's try that on both of them. Basically just balancing it on there. Okay, so that works. And then you can stack them, it said, but... I don't see that happening too easy unless you make another cut. I guess I can do that. And then I'm not sure what they were talking about, the little bouncing thing, if it was some kind of game or something. I'm not sure. It would be great to help, uh, get some help from everybody out there. Because they kind of show you playing something. See that? There's a hand and a finger there on a almost like a box. And tapping. One looks like this one's tapping the tabletop but this one's tapping the other corner maybe I'm not sure and then they show them happily stacked here and maybe knocking them over but I can't see this stacking unless I do something like that so I think uh, I think we did it for a pretty neat little cracker and then you get to cut up the box and have a little character so if you want to see more stuff like this then uh, you know look in the description for a playlist or search our channel and everybody, thanks for watching and thanks for supporting Lucky Penny Shop. Later! If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching! And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up!